Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be talking about the tolerance and how to change it in your 3D prints. For example, this uh, gear that I printed um, from Thingiverse, uh, the tolerance was just right um, so that they can move back and forth. And there are different ways to change that thickness. Your prints weld together. Um, so that's what I'll be talking about today. Alright guys, so let's jump into it. First, uh, what you want to do is open up Simplify 3D. And say you have a uh, gear like this, for example. Or let's we can import um, the impossible bolt and nut. So say you have either one of these. Let's just move it to the side. Um and they both require moving parts because they're printed together moving parts so um, say you wanted to uh, descale this um, this gear um, I did print a descaled gear without anything um, and it did not work it got uh, basically fused the plastic fused together um, and so uh, I know how to, I will show you today how to fix that. So let's first talk about the gear. So you're going to go down here to the edit process settings. And then you're going to go all the way over to other. And now down here in the bottom left corner there is this part right here. So um, now this changes the tolerance of your print. So say uh, we descaled the gear and we need to make the gaps bigger. So um, doing a negative one point or negative point one, which is negative uh, negative zero negative zero point ten, will increase the gaps by two millimeters, and that will also increase this gap, obviously. Um, the same thing goes with this is when when I print this on my TiVo tarantula I've printed the normal size with I think a 75% infill and I separated the gap down here like it just snapped in half the bottom snapped because this was fused together and it wasn't able to spin up and down like it was supposed to so what what I just showed you you can do that and then we're gonna get it ready for printing and I'll show you the um, gear part. Um, I will have a link in the description to this uh, the Simplify 3D website. And this is um, basically how you can tell, like just like this. So, like I said, um, you can do I don't know, you can do negative 0.05, which increases it by one millimeter, or negative point one which increases it by it's supposed to say uh, two millimeters so if you do negative uh, like they say down here where was it someone said right here um, uh, when it would be a negative what negatives make it bigger and non negatives make it smaller so if you, um, for example, if the gap was too big, okay, so not loaded, if the gap was way too big, you would do a positive, say, 0.5, that would make the gap smaller. So definitely, if your gap is not big enough, then you do a negative. If it is big enough, or if it's too big, then you do a positive. So, again, a link of this will be in the description. It basically explains to you what it does. And you can also keep in mind if you don't want to go through this whole process of editing it in the software, you can use Fusion 360. Um, I don't know what's going on here. You can, when you design your parts, you can um, make sure your tolerance is as much as your printer can handle. Like my printer, can, the smallest it can handle is... 0.3 millimeters um, because I did the 
Maker's Muse tolerance test, and I finally got the 0 0.3 millimeter one to budge, and it spins now. So again, when you want to design your parts, make sure you make the the gaps between the moving parts um, thick enough so they don't weld together. Or again, you can edit it in Fusion 360. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you like this video. Uh, see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.